Hi, this is Lisa Somerville for Divinity Designs. We're so glad that you could join us for our marvelous men's party. Today, I'm here to share with you a few tutorials using some of our masculine die sets and paper pad collections. Kelly Holland will be joining us later on in the video to share with you additional projects created with these products. In this video, I'll be sharing with you four tutorials using the following die sets, Couture Collection, Fishing and Hunting Vest, Suit Jacket, and Everyday Shirt. Let's take a closer look at these die sets. The Couture Collection die set is a set of 13 dies. This die will die cut and score for you. When folded, this measures five and a half by four and fits into an A2 envelope. Also included in this die set are two vest dies, buttons, faux pocket dies, and the tie dies. You'll die cut and emboss this die following the directions for your die cutting machine. Embossing the die will bring out the details of the die. This first card uses the Couture Collection die set. You can see added detail was added to the vest using our fish embossing folder. The fishing and hunting vest, suit jacket, and everyday shirt die sets coordinate with our Couture Collection die set as you'll be using the dress shirt die as the base card die for these die sets. The everyday shirt die set is a set of 12 dies. You have three dies for the shirt, the collar, a pocket, and buttons. The next two cards feature the Couture Collection and everyday shirt die sets. Again, the dress shirt die from the Couture Collection is the base card for your everyday shirt. On the Everyday Shirt die set, score marks were added to the dress shirt so that the sleeves fold in so that this card will easily fit into an A2 envelope. The Suit Jacket die set is a set of 20 dies. You have the suit jacket, the lapels, the bow tie, the handkerchief, the buttons, and the additional embellishments for the suit jacket and the dress shirt. The next two cards feature the Couture Collection and suit jacket die set. The dress shirt die from the Couture Collection die set is the base card for your suit jacket die set. You can see on these two cards, I also use the vest die from the Couture Collection to add added detail underneath the suit jacket. You can see there are many different looks that you can achieve by using this die set. And on my last two samples, I've incorporated the fishing and hunting vest die set. The fishing and hunting vest die set contains 13 dies. You have the vest, the small pocket flap, the small pocket, the large pocket flap, a large pocket, the vest tab and snap, a vest and pocket zippers, two lures, and a duck call. This first card uses the dress shirt die from the Couture Collection as the base card, and then I've embellished using the fishing and hunting vest die set. Now on this last card, I decided to step things up a bit by incorporating the everyday shirt die along with the Couture Collection and fishing and hunting vest die sets. You can see added detail was added to the everyday shirt using the fish embossing folder. With the pocket dies in this die set, you can have mesh pockets or you can have solid pockets. Here's the small pocket die and here's the mesh that would go into the center if you want to create a mesh pocket. To create the mesh pockets, you simply place that mesh die in the center of the opening, add removable tape to hold that die in place, then die cut and emboss following the directions for your die cutting machine. That will give you the mesh pockets that you see here. Divinity Designs carries a large assortment of pattern paper in both sizes 6x6 and 6x9. The next few tutorials that I'm going to share with you use paper from the Cool and Casual and Menswear Material paper pad collections. Let's take a closer look at these paper pads. Both of these paper pads are 6x6. Six six. The Cool and Casual paper pad features 40 designer papers, 4 sheets of each design.
The menswear material collection features 36 designer papers, three sheets of each design. Now I'm going to share with you a closer look at the projects that I created using these die sets and paper pad collections. This first tutorial is going to feature the Couture Collection die set. I've gone ahead and die cut and embossed all the pieces I'm going to need to create the card. The card will start out with your dress shirt die. The dress shirt die was die cut and embossed from white card stock. After die cutting and embossing the dress shirt die, you'll fold this card on a center score line and then fold the collar tabs forward. When folding the collar tabs forward, you're going to want to make sure the embossed side is facing up. Now, if you wanted to, you could use this card as is and embellish using the remaining dies, but I wanted to add a colored dress shirt. So I die cut the dress shirt die from pattern paper and then use my paper trimmer to cut across the center line. That way I can adhere this to the base card. Now that I have my pattern paper adhered to the dress shirt, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the tie. Add adhesive to the back half of the tie. Here I'm using score tape. And then adhere to the longer part of the tie. You'll add adhesive to the back side of the tie and then you'll center within the center of the dress shirt. Next, add adhesive to the tabs on the collar. Again, I'm using score tape. And fold forward. You can use the card as is or add the added vest, buttons, and faux pockets. I added the faux pocket using score tape, and I'm going to adhere the buttons using Barely Art Glue. Again, this card measures five and a half by four and fits into an A2 envelope. For added detail, you can emboss the vest die cuts using embossing folders. This next tutorial uses the Everyday Shirt die. Again, the base die for the Everyday Shirt is the dress shirt die from the Couture Collection die set. I've gone ahead and die cut and embossed all the pieces I'm going to need to create my card. Now on the dress shirt die from the Couture Collection, we're going to do something a little bit different to be able to use the everyday shirt dies. We're gonna fold on the center score line. This time, all the embossing is facing you. You'll then use scissors or a paper trimmer and you're going to cut away the collar. So now the dress shirt panel looks just like this, with the collar tabs removed. You'll add adhesive to the back side of your pattern paper. Line up your edges and adhere in place. When placing adhesive on the back side of your pattern paper, don't forget that the sleeve is going to overextend the dress shirt because the sleeves will fold in to fit into the A2 envelope. You'll repeat that process with the other side of the dress shirt. You'll add score tape to the back side of the collar, the pocket, and the remaining trim for the dress shirt. Remove the adhesive backing and then adhere in place. You'll start by adding the trim to the dress shirt, then add the collar pieces and the pocket.
and then I'll use Barely Art Glue to adhere the buttons in place. And as previously mentioned, the sleeves will fold in on the score line so that this card will fit into an A2 envelope. This next video uses this suit jacket die set, along with the dress shirt die from the Couture Collection die set. Here's a finished card. And again, on these two cards, I also added the vest underneath the suit jacket. I've gone ahead and die cut and embossed all the pieces I'm going to need to create my card. You'll start by turning your base card over. Fold on the center score line, and then you're gonna fold on the collar tabs. Again, the collar tabs, you want the embossing to be facing towards you. First, we're going to add the trim to the shirt. I adhered score tape to the back side. I'll remove the backing, and then I'll apply to the center of the dress shirt, aligning underneath the collar. You'll then add adhesive to the back side of the suit jacket. Line up the edges and adhere in place. You'll repeat that process with the remaining die cut panel. Next, you're going to want to assemble the die cut pieces for the bow die. I'm going to adhere those together using Barely Art Glue. Now you can adhere score tape to the collar tabs, remove the adhesive backing, and then fold those flaps forward. Then adhere the bow tie in place. Add score tape to the remaining trim for the suit jacket. Remove the backing from the adhesive. Then apply the trim in place. Then you'll add the suit jacket trim. Again, be sure to align those die cut panels as you adhere in place. And then you can finish embellishing by adding the pocket, the handkerchief, and the buttons. I'm going to be adhering the buttons using Barely Art Glue, and I'll add score tape to the handkerchief and the pocket. This next tutorial features the fishing and hunting vest along with the base die from the Couture Collection die set. When using the dies from the fishing and hunting vest die collection, be sure to emboss these dies to bring out the detail that dies. And on this card, I added the everyday shirt die and embossed using the fish embossing folder. I've gone ahead and die cut and embossed all the pieces I'm going to need to create my card. Now, if you just wanted the card base to be white card stock, you'll go ahead and die cut and emboss, fold on the center score line, and make sure the embossed tabbed collars are facing you. For my card, I wanted the card stock to be white for writing on the inside of the card, but I wanted to add a colored shirt underneath the vest. So I die cut the dress shirt from pattern paper and also die cut the collar tabs. You can see that I separated them and then I cut them so that I could add them to the shirt. Now on my base card, I'm going to use scissors and I'm going to remove the collar tabs. Then I'm going to apply adhesive to the back side of the collar tabs and then I can adhere to the pattern paper.
I'll repeat that process with the other collar tab. Here you can see the back side. I want to dress up this shirt, so I'm using the trim from the Everyday Shirt Dye. I've placed score tape on the back, and I'll remove the backing from the adhesive. And then I'll center that underneath the collar, and then adhere the collar tabs in place. Now I can turn this over, add adhesive to the back side, and adhere to the base card. And now you can finish embellishing your card using the remaining die cut pieces. Again, with the pockets, you can have mesh pockets or solid pockets. I'll adhere the buttons and the zippers using Barely Art Glue, and I'll adhere the pockets using score tape, adding the score tape to the folded tabs. On this pocket, I've added the pocket flap. Then I'll add the adhesive to the back side of the zipper and adhere that on top of the flap. And here's my finished card. Next, Kelly Holland will be joining us, sharing additional samples using these die sets and paper pad collections. Thank you so much, Lisa, for those great instructions. Now I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of samples using the products Lisa demonstrated along with the men's mirror material and the cool and casual paper pads. First, the couture collection. This tie uses the Americana paper pad. This vest uses our Latte Love. It's a coffee-based paper pad. Is a denim vest. This vest was embossed with the fish embossing folder. It's a very popular die set. We have a lot of samples. Here it is just using the ties. It's a cute card. And now I have samples using the fishing and hunting vest. People just love these zippers. You get more compliments about the zippers in the set. And the mesh pockets. This card uses our Snowbird Stamp Die Duo set. Little birds pe peeking out of the pockets. Fishing lures were added, hanging from the pocket. The background was embossed with the fish embossing folder. This one, the duck call was added. And finally, this one. Great camo vest. Next are samples, using the everyday shirt dye. Love that with the paired paper. Pocket popped up for dimension. This one very southwest. Is that lobster paper? So cute. Camo. It's a great print, a little fish bones. It's very nautical. Pineapples, adorable. Great tropical background. Another fish. Basic stripes. Very patriotic. Using our America the Beautiful paper pad. And a little Valentine shirt card. Using happy hearts. 
Next are my samples using the suit and jacket tie. Love this one. Very nautical. This one uses the lobster paper. This one uses like a textured paper to look velvety. Love that one, very tropical. You can see the Couture Collection vest is underneath. This one uses black mirror card. Fish embossing folder used on this one. It's a little dress here in all white. one with the vest under. This one a little bit of blue. 